In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to delete a PowerPoint presentation in just about five minutes. Whether you're cleaning up old files or maybe you've just finished a big presentation and need to clear some space, knowing how to properly delete a PowerPoint file is surprisingly handy. Let's dive right into it. Let's start with the very first step, opening your MS PowerPoint. Most of you are probably familiar with this process. But for those of you who might be a bit newer to the program, you'll find it by searching for PowerPoint in your computer's search bar. Or you might already have it pinned to your taskbar or start menu. Click on the icon and it will open up to your launching screen where you can access your most recent presentations or start a new one. Once you have your PowerPoint open, you're going to move on to accessing the presentation you want to delete. If it's one of your recent files, you'll see it displayed right there on the opening screen under the recent section. If not, you might need to click on open and browse through your computer's files to find it. This step is pretty straightforward, but here's a tip. If you're having trouble remembering the file's name, try to recall when you last worked on it. PowerPoint sorts your recent files chronologically, so this can be a quick way to track it down. After opening the file you wish to delete, the next step is to click on file located at the top left corner of your screen. This will take you to the backstage view of PowerPoint where you can access a wide range of options including information about your presentation, options to save, export, print, share and of course delete your file. So you've clicked on file. Now you might be expecting the next step to take you through some menus but actually it involves a bit of a right click action. Yes that's right you will need to right click on your presentation but not within the presentation itself. Instead, look for the file name in the recently opened documents list or navigate to the file location on your computer through the open or info tab in PowerPoint. This might seem a bit unintuitive, but it's an effective way to manage your files directly from within PowerPoint. Right clicking on the file will open a context menu and here comes the important part. You will select delete file. This option might sound a bit scary, but remember, this is exactly what you came here to do. Clicking delete file tells PowerPoint that you're sure about removing this presentation from your computer storage. And that's essentially how you delete a PowerPoint presentation safely and properly. It's a simple process, but I want to leave you with a couple of final thoughts. First, always make sure you're deleting the right file. It sounds obvious, but mistakes happen. And once a file is gone, depending on your setup, it might be tough to get back. Second, if you're deleting files to free up space on your computer, consider backing them up somewhere else first, like on an external hard drive or cloud storage. This way you're keeping your computer tidy without potentially losing something important forever. Deleting files might not be the most glamorous topic, but knowing how to manage your digital workspace can really help keep you productive and your computer running smoothly. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Remember, take care when deleting files and don't hesitate to back things up if you're unsure. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe for more helpful tutorials. See you in the next one. Next.